Hi everyone. Welcome to another Tech Tips channel. Today we will continue our guard tour patrolling workshop, part 2. Do you watch part 1? I highly recommend you may watch part 1 first. In part 1, we have go through the setting for Checkpoint Master and the Member Master. The link for part 1 is shared at the top right. Alright, let's start our workshop today. Today, we will go through the on-duty member view in the dashboard. If time available, we will also go through the patrol and incident. Alright, let's check the data setting for member on duty log. In this table, we have 5 columns. Record ID column is a text type, with initial value of unique ID. Member email column is a reference column to the member master table. Status column is a noom type, with value of on duty and off duty. And initial value of on duty. On duty date time column is a date time type, with initial value of now. Off-duty date time column is a date time type. Next, let's create a slice that just returned on duty records. Name the slice's status as on duty. Source from member on duty log table. Then enter the row filter with status equal to on duty. Add the actions. Later I will share the clock out and clock in action setting. Lastly, set the update mode as update and ads. Alright, let's check the setting for clock out and clock in actions. Let's check the clock in action first. Set the clock in action as shown. This action is linked to a form, which form name is status is on duty form. With passing the unique ID as the record ID column. Let's check the form that is linked. This is an auto created form, we just need to set the column order. Next, set the event actions in the behavior. This action will enable us, whenever a member clock in. It will update the member last seen date time and location. Let's check the action. Set the action as shown. This action actually execute an action from member master table. The referenced action is update the last seen date and the location in member master table. Let's check the action. Set the action as shown. This action is update the last seen location column, and the last seen date time column. Back to the clock in action. We need to set the condition for this action. Insert this formula, so that this action is only available for member that is off duty. The clock in action is ready. Let's check the clock out action. Set the action as shown. This action actually is update the off duty status and the off duty date time. Set the condition so that this action is only available for on duty member. All right, the clock out action is ready. And the data is ready too. Let's proceed to the user interface. Set the on duty member view as shown.
the on duty member view is ready, let's check the detail view. This is an auto created view, we just need to set the column order. Alright, the on duty member view in the dashboard is ready. Next video, we will continue with the patrol and incident. We end here today. See you guys in the next video. Bye.